Hey everybody, my name is Zach here at Yaz, and today I want to uh, do things a little bit differently. I want to take you through um, some parts in the Facebook Ads Manager and show you specifically how to use uh, the, their audiences in a few different ways. So I will be sharing my screen here, as you probably can already see, and I'm just going to kind of go through and tell you what I have to tell you. All right, so we're going to start right here in, um, of course, in our Facebook Ads Manager. Um, as you can see, I'm already in this kind of new test ad set that I made um, between campaigns, ad sets, and ads. The place that you'll actually find the audience information for a specific ad is in the ad set. So I'm going to hover over my ad set here and go to Edit. Um, so this will bring it up. If you edit it in your campaign or new ad, you can just click on new ad set from wherever you were. Um, when you scroll down here, um, of course there's lots of stuff that you're going to have to go past, you'll get to the part here that says audience. So by default, oh, and I already kind of added one here as I was testing. By default, it'll start, I think with, I assume it'll start with your country. Of course, mine is Canada. I'm here in Canada. It'll start with the pretty wide age range. It'll say all genders under detailed targeting. It'll just say on, which if you're anything like me, that doesn't really mean anything on its own. And it's actually for this reason that I didn't realize until today when I was prepping for this video that you could make these audience changes here. Um, I've always done it over in business tools under audiences. And it's gonna have all the kind of the same options there. I think I still like doing it in audiences a little bit better. Um, and actually I'll, I'll end up going there and doing it, but I'm gonna show you that you can do it here first. So what I don't like about how it's set up here is it doesn't seem very obvious how much control you actually have. So your two options here seem to be create new audience or use saved audience. So your saved audience is all the audiences that will already, of course, um, the ones you've already made. Create an audience is where you want to be if you haven't created one yet. So if in their first bar here, their search existing audiences, which I really don't like being the first bar. It lets you choose from some of the audiences that you already have in your account. It also has this create new button here, which is a little misleading I find because the only options that it gives you here are custom audience and lookalike audience. So a custom audience is going to give you a bunch of sources to kind of create an audience from. So if you had a customer list or you have like the pixel set up on your website, you can start to make audiences out of that. But this doesn't let you actually set an audience yourself. If you do have these things like the pixel or a customer list, I do recommend going with those because you're gonna get a lot of great data from people that have already you know, bought from you, filled out your contact form, that sort of thing. And the other option here is a lookalike audience. Now I made a blog about lookalike audiences, I think like over a year ago now. Um, still pretty useful. It's again a lot of the same sort of stuff where you're taking that data from a Facebook pixel or an email list or something and you're actually getting Facebook to pick people that share qualities with whatever you uploaded. So if you've had a bunch of people who um, purchase from you, Facebook is going to be like, what do they all have in common and find other people who have those commonalities because they are statistically more likely to buy from you. So for uh, our purposes today, we're basically going to pretend that we don't have any lists and we're going to be starting from scratch. So if you did want to change things here, as you hover over these sections, each one has an edit button. Um, so you can click on edit here and it would bring up, this is kind of the main piece that you want to be using here. But at this point, I'm going to switch over to the audience manager. Again, I'll kind of show you why it's, I find it at least just a little bit easier to manage. There is still something in this section that they made kind of complicated. When you go to create audience in the top left here, your options are again, custom audience, lookalike audience, special ad audience and saved audience. And the top two do the same thing that they did on the other page. Special ad audience, um, it only works for things in the special ad category, which I am not familiar with, so I'm not going to touch on that. Um, so the, the thing that you have to click, which I think reads kind of weird, is a saved audience, which to me feels like you're going to be picking something that you've already saved, but this is how you make one that you're going to save. So here you'll see these options are basically all of the same things that you saw over on that other page. 
but you don't have to click on each individual edit button to change them so you can kind of just go through this list here so you can choose of course locations if you want to uh, narrow this down like if in this example I guess we'll talk about uh, our business here Yaz and we do like website development marketing apps and we target uh, mostly business owners um, so we could probably work with anyone in Canada but I've been kind of doing this long enough to know that budget wise if you're targeting somewhere like Calgary or Toronto that are quite a bit bigger you're going to want a much larger budget um, and so being a local Saskatoon company, we probably only want to target Saskatchewan. Oh, uh, sorry, from this list you have a drop down. It's like people living in or recently in this location, people only living here, people recently here, and people traveling. Um, this will just kind of depend on what kind of business you are. So I'm gonna pick the first one, and I want to include, if I can spell it right, Saskatchewan. Cool. And if you're not from Saskatchewan, you're not missing much. <laughs> All right, so under age, um, a lot of businesses I find think that 18 to 65 plus is good because you think back and remember all of the, the customers that you've had and you've had people that were as young as 18 and as old as, you know, seniors. Uh, seniors, did I? Anyway. <laughs> um, that's really not the best way to manage it. In my case, we have had some pretty young customers, but in terms of who I want to show this ad to, I really want to narrow down the demographic to who I think is the most likely. So usually I pick something like 27, 25-ish to uh, 55 is usually pretty safe. And these are things that you can come in and finesse later as well. I want to target all genders. Languages, I only want to target English because we don't speak French, unfortunately. And then, so detail targeting again is where you kind of get and have all of your fun. So you can click on browse and suggestions and they'll kind of show you some things based on previous searches. You can see that a lot of the stuff that I would want in here is already waiting for me. Uh, so I'll go ahead and pick a small business owner because as I mentioned, our target audience, we're building websites for businesses. So we want the small business owner to be the one to see these ads. So, um, now, I guess pay special attention to demographics, interests, or behavior. So it's not just people. So if you have like an e-commerce website, um, one of the ones I've seen a lot I think is like engaged shoppers. So that one is super useful. If, again, you want to target people who Facebook already knows spend time doing online purchases. Uh, so I'm not going to sit here and kind of go through too many of these, but you kind of get the idea. After you've added a couple in, I highly recommend checking out suggestions. It's going to have things that are very similar. Um, so you want to you know, pick everything that's going to be useful. Now the next step, because a lot of people quit here, um, but it really can end up giving you an audience that's way too big. What you can now do is either exclude or narrow your audience. So if you wanted to exclude, um, I don't have any examples of this in my business. I guess technically if I could exclude people who are already using one of my competitors, I guess I would do that. Um, but this is something you'll have to know if your business has an exclusion or not. Narrow audience is super useful because now what you have, you see this line here that says and must also match. So. As, as these top two are right now, I could either target engaged shoppers or small business owners. So it might target an engaged shopper who's not a small business owner, which really isn't who I want to be seeing this ad. So what I'm actually going to do is add small business owner as the second one. Small, I thought it would pop up faster, of course. So now they have to be an engaged shopper and a small business owner. So up in this first one, I would probably add a bunch of other stuff like interested in design, interested in branding, interested in marketing. But on the second one, I wanna make sure that they have to be any of those things plus a small business owner. And you can actually even then add, um, you can narrow it further. So you might have people that need to fit multiple criteria. So this is a really powerful tool for you to be able to say, um, it's not just any one in this category, it's anyone in this category that also fits this category, maybe also fits this category. This is going to make a really, really huge difference as to 
you know, what kind of return you're going to get, how much of a budget you're spending, because you, you no longer have to market to a bunch of people who are not going to be relevant. You'll, you want only the people who should be seeing your ads to be seeing your ads. So that's really all I wanted to show you today. Um, of course, you could go through, create your audience, go back to your ad, um, click on that drop down, and use that audience. Uh, you know, fairly straightforward. If there's anything else specifically about Facebook ads or you know audiences that you want me to talk about and make one of these videos, this is I think kind of my first one. I, I did some Google ones a couple of years ago. My first videos, still kind of my most popular, but terrible quality. <laughs> So let me know what you want to see me go through and explain and I will do so. In the meantime, thank you for watching. Um, if you're watching on, I need to stop saying if you're watching on YouTube, I gotta start assuming. Like, subscribe, comment, all of that fun stuff. Um, it's really appreciated. I think we got up to, I'm not even gonna say the amount of subscribers I have because it's super small. But even though it's super small, I'm still very excited about it. Um, so yeah, that's all I have for today. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.